these are the nail polishes that you're going to need for this tutorial. Base coat, a light pink for the nail base, white for the tip. We're going to use yellow for the bomb, black for the bomb, silver sparkle also for the bomb. Um, this white's going to be for the bomb. This is the cherry stem, and this is the cherry itself. And we're going to need like a toothpick or like a manicure stick like this for the red to make the circles. So we're going to start by applying the base coat to every nail. And then we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to apply the light pink like this. We're applying the light pink color all over the entire nail. So now we're just going to apply a white tip like that. It's not dark enough, just uh let that coat dry and then come over it with another coat because you don't want to pile up too much or it won't dry. So basically what you should have at this point would be like a French manicure. So I poured some red in a glass dish. This is just a candle lid, but <laughs> it'll work. You're going to take your toothpick and you're going to dab it in there. And we're only going to do the outer fingers. We're going to leave the middle finger like it is. We're going to do this, this finger, this finger, this finger, and this finger. You want to get this on before the, the polish in the dish dries because it'll get real tacky and it'll make little string things come off like that. Alright, so we're going to move on to the stem of the cherry and you're going to need a brush that's really thin like this. And we're just going to draw it on like this. black and you're going to knead it in with um, a really thin brush like this. You can get these nail polishes at Hot Topic or at the dollar store. I would recommend the dollar store. They're about four dollars cheaper than Hot Topic. And we're going to carefully draw a circle. Try to get this as round as you can. Okay. We're going to make this look like a cartoon bomb, I guess. So we're going to make a little bump right here, I guess, where the fuse goes. Like that. That's it for the black. We're going to take some yellow 
make sure there's not a lot of paint on the brush. Okay. Where you want the fuse to end, you're going to put the yellow right about here. Okay. Like that. You can kind of spread it out a little bit if you want. Make it kind of look like it's a spark. Alright. Then we're going to take our white again with a, a really thin brush. Again, make sure there's not a lot of paint on it. And we're going to draw our fuse. Okay, and with the white also, we're going to make make it look kind of 3D. We're going to have a little shine like that. If you don't like how the white fuse is coming out like that, you can touch it up with some black, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, we touched that up like that. Now we're going to uh, take the silver sparkles. I have this with a thin brush. You don't have to. You can dab some on there. I'm going to make it look like it's sparking. Like that. And I think this needs a little bit more detail, so I might take a little bit of orange or pink. And just to let everyone know, this brand, this is from Sally's, is crap. <laughs> Only use it on little things. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed because it will crack. And it looks like garbage. So, it's good for little details, though, like this. There, now we have an exploding bomb for our cherry, cherry, boom, boom. And when you flip someone off, they'll feel real special. And, uh, yeah.